when moving out to Hawaii, you're going to start looking at homes. And one of the first things that you may notice is the age of the homes. There's going to be a lot of dated homes, especially in certain areas. Windward side, Mililani. There's going to be a lot more dated homes. You're talking 60s, 70s, 80s, homes 20 plus years old. They may look a little dated on the outside. Some of them have had the renovations done on the inside that they make look more updated, brought back to life in 2022. Anyway, what we're referring to is I'm actually standing in one of a new home communities here in Ho'opili. I'm gonna talk about the process of buying a new home here in Hawaii right now. What's going on? Welcome to the Living in Hawaii channel. If you are new here, this channel is all about what it's like to live in Hawaii, what it's like to eat, sleep, play, breathe, the up, down, left, and right. Everything that you need to know about living in Hawaii. If you're not new here, welcome on back. Make sure you all hit that like button. It helps anybody else be able to find this information. Hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so that you get notified anytime that I upload a new video on this channel. And look, we get so many people reaching out, calling, texting, emailing every single day, and we absolutely love it. And you can do the same thing too. If you're thinking about making that move to Hawaii, you're already here and trying to find that place that best fits your lifestyle, you can reach out, you can send me that text, you can send me the DM, you can give me a call, email, you can skip all of that if you want to and go to that link down in the description below. There's gonna be a calendar link, it's gonna take you right to our calendar link where we'll schedule a Zoom together and we'll go over all the things that you need to know about moving to Hawaii. And we're gonna get into this buying a new house right now. Like I mentioned, we're talking about buying a new house, a brand new house here in Hawaii, not one that somebody has already lived in. This process can vary by community, all right? And now I am standing in Ho'opili. I wanted to name some communities, other communities that you may be interested in Googling. First, let me go ahead and tell you, I do not work for the developers. I am a real estate agent, but I do not work for the developers. All right, but you can definitely hit me up if you're thinking about trying to buy a new house out here. Let me explain the process though after I name off some of these other communities. So Ho'opili, DR Horton Homes. Not that that means too much to you unless you're really into the developers, but DR Horton is the home builder for uh, Ho'opili community. That's the one that we're standing in now. What are some of the other communities on the island in different areas, right? We only have so much island, so it's not like we can just have all this land to keep spreading out new builds, right? We don't live in Texas where there's just land galore and we can keep going and going and going, right? We only have so much island. So what are some of these other new build communities? Well, over in YPO, you've got Koa Ridge, all right? That's by Castle and Cook. Again, not that that means anything to you, but you got Koa Ridge over in Castle and Cook. You've got the cottages at Mount Olu up in Makaha, all right? And then if you're going um, a little bit more north, you've got Kahuku Villages up in Kahuku, North Shore. If you are going more towards town, there's a ton of new condo unit developments in town, but one of the biggest ones is the park at Keomoku. All right, so there's some different communities there, and then they might may, some may have a lottery process and some may not. So if you're thinking about buying a new home, you may have heard something about this lottery process, especially for Ho'opili. A lot of these communities that I just named off do, but some of them actually don't, and some of them are working on a first come, first serve basis. Sorry about the vehicles, but we're outside, right? We're trying to get into these communities so that you can see them. So walking down the street here in Ho'opili, what is this lottery that you're talking about, Ryan? Well, let me talk about the communities that do or do not have a lottery. So I mentioned Ho'opili. Ho'opili does have a lottery. I mentioned Koa Ridge. Koa Ridge does have a lottery, all right? Uh, the cottages at Mount Olu up in Makaha. That is a first come, first serve basis. Beautiful, nice little quiet, gated community up in Makaha Valley. If you're looking to just kind of be away from everybody, you want that isolation, you want that peaceful, nice community, the cottages at Mount Olu may be for you. And then uh, we talked about um, Kahuku Villages. Those are first come, first serve basis, last that I heard, all right? I mentioned the park at Keomoku. Last I called the sales rep just last week and he let me know that up to a certain price point, they are at a lottery system. And then after a certain price point, then it goes to first come first serve. So what's up to a certain price point? Off rip, off the top of my head, I'm trying to remember, I don't have it in front of me, right? I'm walking down the street, but I believe it was up to about a $450,000 condo. After you hit that 450,000 below was a lottery for them. And then after you got above 450,000, you can see these beautiful homes here in Ho'opili. These brand new homes, that's Haloa, 
all right nice little town homes okay and then we got some single family homes right here on this side but those are some of the communities and the lottery system now how does that lottery system work let's go ahead and dive into that all right so what is this lottery system Ryan? like are you talking about like mega millions like i really got to enter my name yes to enter these one these developer uh, lotteries, you have to be you have to have a pre-qual letter. You have to then enter your name and information to be basically drawn out of a hat. Like I'm not kidding you. Uh, your names are then basically drawn in an order, and the people who do win this lottery then have the right to purchase first, right? You or the option to buy is what we'll say. You had then have the option to buy the home. You won the option to buy the home. Does that mean that you are locked in? You have to then buy the home. No, okay? You then have the option to buy the home. After you have won the option to then buy the home, some of these communities offer features, custom features that you can choose specifically for your home. Last I talked to the sales reps for DR, these Ho'opili community, they didn't necessarily have custom features available, but they had something called an upgraded package where I guess you could get upgraded appliances and those types of things if you so choose. Coa Ridge had a design team. Now, Coa Ridge didn't necessarily have a lot of model homes, but they did have a design team um, that you could then go in with the design team and decide what it is, the features, the tiles, the, the cabinets, those types of things that you wanted for your home. Take a look around as I spin around and we can see these beautiful single family homes right here in Ho'opili. Big lot right here on the corner. Very nice lot. That, that thing is huge. They got solar panels on that house too. Look at all these homes. If you choose to go through with that option to buy the home, you will then enter escrow. Now, a lot of these homes that you see around me, these communities are already developed, obviously, but not all of them are developed, right? And when we're talking about like, how long does this process work? Well, when I was talking with the sales rep for Coa Ridge, she told me that they were anywhere from 90 days on out to 180 days, depending, right? With things going on right now, we're talking about supply issues, getting the supplies out here, uh, labor, right? All those things. So she said the escrow process is that far out, but they were trying to get it done faster. Very similar to Ho'opili. Again, same thing. They're not all developed. They're not just sitting here as model homes. So what that looks like then again is around a 60, it could be anywhere from 60 to 180 days. They're really, really trying to shrink that down to a 60 day closed window. So you could be an escrow for that long of a period while you're waiting for your home to be built. All right. So that's if you choose the option, the option to buy the home and proceed forward. Okay, let's talk a little bit, just a little bit more specifically about Ho'opili. Again, I'm not a rep for them. I'm not promoting this community specifically, right? It really boils down to you, your family, your goals, priorities, and your lifestyle. Now, Ho'opili though, where is Ho'opili? So when we're looking at a map and we're looking at where Ho'opili is, Ho'opili actually sits like right at the border of Eva and Kapale. Like it's literally dead center, like right there on the border. So it is not a community that is necessarily closer to the beach. Okay, you're a little bit more inland, but when we're talking about Eva and Kapale being neighbors, Ho'opili is considered to be an Eva beach. Okay, now what's going on in Ho'opili when we're talking about where it is, the amenities nearby, things that are happening here in the community. So Ho'opili is developing right up and coming. So why Ho'opili and what do they have going on? Eva and Kapale are actually two of the fastest growing communities here in Oahu, right? So what does that mean? They built this community and then they go, oh crap, we need more schools. So Ho'opili actually has its own middle school that is open at this time and they're still developing on it. That's Ono Uli Uli Middle School, or some people are calling it like East Kapole Middle School because original Kapole Middle School and Eva Makai Middle School were getting filled up, right? So they needed another school. So they have Hono Uli Uli Middle School over here in Ho'opili. There are, or I was told by again by the rep that they're building an elementary school and that they're going to be building their own high school. No dates or timelines for that. Now, what else is happening in Ho'opili? Just around the corner, you have the Croc Center. So when you come up Kualakai Parkway, all right, you got the Croc Center on the right, and you're also gonna see the uh, the rail development. Now, you're gonna make a right there, and then when you get past that Croc Center, where you got a nice cool water park, big bucket comes down, splashes all the kids, they love it. My son loves it. <laughs> he gets 
he is wild about that stuff. But anyway, so Ho Pili has got a lot going on. Um, just 10, less than 10 minutes down the road, you also are gonna have Kamakana Ali'i Mall, which is considered to be in Kapolei, okay? We're talking about Kapolei, we're talking about zip codes 96707, right? So you got Kamakana Ali'i less than 10 minutes away. You've got a middle school already here. They're gonna be doing an elementary and a, and a high school per what she had told me. Oh look, some of these even have a studio, so I'm just walking by. So we've got Hairology Studio right here. Pretty cool. We've got some single family homes on the side. I just like completely stopped what I was talking about, but it's okay, right? <laughs> We're talking about everything happened in Hope Beach. Single family homes, a lot of these got panels on them, saving on electric bills, because that sun is beaming down on me right now. I'm probably got sweaty armpits. Anyway, <laughs> nobody cares about that, Ryan. Hope Peely, when we're talking about what do they have available? So right now, if you go and you look at Hope Peely, you're gonna see Kohina, Kaiko, Ikena, Mamaka, and you're like, Ryan, you're just saying all these words. I don't even know how to say these words. Um, and I don't know what that means. What does that mean? So I'm gonna show you, you're gonna see, and we're gonna show you around a little bit more of these, but basically Ikena and Mamaka are single family homes, okay? These are same single family home builds, like these ones, kind of like these, these aren't, these aren't those, but kind of like these, right? I mean, we're talking about single family homes. You got Kohina and Kaiko that are going to be your townhome or condos that are a little bit more affordable when we're talking about price range. Don't quote me on this, or you can correct me in the comments if you go look it up and let me know. But I'm pretty sure Kaiko is gonna be your more affordable, lower 300,000s. We're talking about condo townhomes. When you start to get to Kohina, you're gonna uh, be looking closer to the higher 300s, 400s. And then Akena and Mamaka. Mamaka is gonna be right around your 859 and the, uh, 900s. And then your Akena is gonna be the most expensive single family homes uh, right around the 900. $50,000 range, okay? Now, these homes are being released in phases, okay? So, for instance, you wanna enter the lottery. You could enter a lottery in February, and then they may have another one again in, let's say, April, because they're kind of doing like every other month. And then what that can look like is, you could enter a lottery with 150 other people, and they only have 12 homes available. So what does that mean? 12 people are gonna win the option to buy the home. All right, and then you might either have to just wait till the next one or continue shopping, right? Whichever it is that you choose to do, don't forget that you can hit me up and we can talk more about this. So that's kind of what's happening in a lot of these communities. Same thing, Coal Ridge. Every other month, they're doing a lottery release. You're gonna see a ton of agents post the same crap on social media. Everybody's gonna steal basically the same thing and say, oh, they're doing another lottery release. If you wanna get in, let me know. They're not taking you through the communities like this. But anyway, that's what's going on in Whole Peely. We're gonna show you a little bit more around Ho Pili and talk a little bit more about what you can do with these homes. One quick note is if you're thinking about buying one of these new homes in these new communities and then trying to turn around and flip it, not gonna be the case for you. This is not the investor special out here, all right? These are new home communities for families like these playing at the park back here with this nice park behind me. In your contract, don't quote me on this, I haven't bought a new home here, so don't quote me on this, but I believe in the contract, and I don't have it with me in front of me either, right? So I've only looked at this a few times, but I believe it is that you have to own the home for a minimum of 12 months. It could be more, uh, but I believe it's a minimum of 12 months. If you did the homework, leave it in the comments and let me know what you saw as far as how long you have to own the home for these people who may want to try and flip homes, which is not going to be the case. Bus line, look, bus line is running through whole Pili. All right, so you see that, that's the bus line. So if you're wondering if you need a car, I mean, if you want a car, right, but sure, there's the bus line right there coming through whole Pili. So again, guys, look, I mentioned this several different times, but if you are thinking about making the move to Hawaii, you've already made the move, and you're trying to find a place that best fits your lifestyle, or maybe it is that you're thinking about buying a new home, whether it be whole Pili, Koa Ridge, Cottages in Mount Olu, whatever community it is, you can hit me up, you can shoot me a DM, you can send me the text, you can give me the call, email, you can skip all that and you can schedule your uh, appointment with us using the link down in the description below. However you wanna get a hold of us, we got your back when moving to Hawaii. As I mentioned on this channel, there's actually tons of other vlog tours. If you haven't seen the vlog tours of Eva or Kapolei, you can go check those out. Those are gonna be popping up for you right now.